G'day and welcome back to Stitch Up and another episode of Planet Coaster. This is a very stitched up Christmas and we're in episode three. This is going to be a brilliant episode. Uh, lots of time lapse building in this one, lots of talking over the time lapse and lots and lots of things. We're actually starting to shape the park and by the end of this episode we have a, a what I would consider a 80 to 90 percent complete first section of the park. So I'm going to and I've been very careful not to show you exactly what we're creating here but Oh, I can see something glittering in the background. This is going to be all about this episode. Oh, there's a little sneak peek. Okay, so why don't you enjoy the Stitch Up intro, and I'll see you in just a sec. Please keep your hopes up for Christmas. Right, so episode three, and we are off and running. So I had a bit of an idea here. So as you come down to the main, and you get you go down the staircase, wherever that is going to be, and we we do finalise the staircase at the end of this episode and get that whole entrance to the park kind of, like I said, eighty to ninety percent finished. Um, but what we're actually doing is I, I worked out that I have one of those trees there and I think the tree was too small and I thought well hang on the first thing they're going to see is this Christmas tree and it's meant to be this kind of big reveal so what I did is I um, added in a uh, planet coaster statue and uh, on top of the presents and it's a bit of a nod to a Christmas tree with all the presents around it so and then I decided we'll have a much more impressive Christmas tree here so we started off doing the circular path and then I put together, um, you know, a very large Christmas tree using the dome method. Um, and it does look quite good. It, it's, it certainly glitters. I mean, when you do it like this, you get some sharp angles. But really, I mean, park count is going to go through the roof here. Because I think even then, we, like here, it was kind of ready. But I've literally doubled it again. So we get this lovely round look to it. So I did leave the default uh, lights on as well. Um, and of course, this path here is, is where I'd kind of just worked out it'll go for now but I end up slightly adjusting it I've got a nice curve going on here but we end up just slightly adjusting exactly what we'll be uh, doing with that curve and uh, it is a nice symmetrical um, circle um, and uh, yeah we've got some idea to bring in some floodlights and some water and you'll see it start to develop so I guess the idea is as you're looking and you're entering from the park in episode 2 we created that entrance with a Merry Christmas sign and, and he, by the way here's the planet coaster statue going in there so he's just gonna he's just gonna pop in um, and uh, yeah he'll be he'll be up and running um, but yeah so so there he is what's his name I can't remember the name of him. Uh, he's got a name to it. I'll have to look this one up. If you remember the name, pop that down in the comments. But um, I think he's got a stupid coaster name. Um, but uh, yeah, he's there. He's there kind of on top of all the presents. And he's a little bit stand in Santa, I guess. We might give him a Sanders hat or something uh, as well. So um, here we're just looking at, I guess, as you enter the park, you'll see these big tall things. And I guess one thing you will see. So there are three uh, kind of... Um, uh, I guess sort of very tall objects one being the ferris wheel uh, one being the tree and then the other being the uh, the drop tower and um, that's done in those sort of you know that's done in the, the nice height because I you are entering from the top of a cliff and I, I want it to seem impressive but I also want um, you know, I want to instantly get the idea, wow, there's rides and I guess, you know, when you walk into Winter Wonderland at Hyde Park you get this you just get this over overwhelming sort of awe of the scale of it it's just absolutely massive so here you can see me playing with the terrain a little bit um and yeah we do we do struggle with the terrain um a little bit here uh I, i've actually got a hard edge up against the path and i guess I, i'm not happy with that i've also got a bridge there i'm not happy with that um so we go back and we go back and fix a few things we definitely sort of um I guess the idea. I just, I just like the way the water uh, looks with the with the snow underneath, um, and so I kind of like that. I think, I think the way the water kind of goes is is pretty good. Um, one thing I'm doing here is I'm actually adding in a star, and you know I'm using I think the adventure pack and some of the gold, you know, some of the gold pieces. But one thing I really lose here is the scale. I make this star, and it's absolutely massive. 
we do have the star sitting in the park. Um, I'm not going to use it for this, but I want to show you it just because uh, I'll show you in the live play, actually. Let's go and have a look at the star in the live play. Remind me to do that. Here's me uh, mucking around with some symmetry and absolutely hating that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it was just, um, I guess I've, I've built this park not on the, uh, the well, the world grid, the world axes, I guess. So sometimes when we do this, we, we just kind of struggle a bit and there's, there's um, the axis that it, it, it basically, um, it, it's, it's current axis, the axis of the, of the shape that you're currently building. And then you've got the world axis as well, the axes. And um, yeah, it just uh, sometimes it just gets a little bit confusing. I'm um, I'm a bit out of practice with Planet Coaster as well, so I'm sure there's a way to do all this um, better. Uh, but this is me uh, after a few years of playing the game and and having well quite a break actually. If you consider that you know in the last 12 months it was just Deep Blue Sea and that was a really slow build because of you know hardware. But now we have the beautiful uh, gaming computer. So um, hardware isn't a problem anymore. So yes, I was saying about the water here and I just like the way that uh, the water sits over the top of the snow and I like that there's some shallow bits. It reminds me of that kind of, you know, the Ant Antarctica with um, some lovely kind of um, uh, sort of very blue. You don't know how deep these kind of bits are and some of them you can't see the bottom and then some you can. Some you can see the lovely white snow underneath. Um, so we get a nice straight bridge here and of course we're going to come back and decorate the bridge a little bit later. Um, I'm, I'm trying not to rely on trees too much um, because I don't want this to just be let's pop down you know 50,000 trees and that's it because that it just wouldn't firstly wouldn't be interesting but it's just a bit lazy as well and I think you have to build sometimes so uh, we might we might start looking at um, you know uh, proper sort of uh, like almost like a wharf, a wharf edge. Um, we might start looking at some of those and, and even sort of, there's an idea, we could have a Christmas boat. We could have a yacht, a Christmas yacht with the lights and it could be in like a harbour. That's that's an idea for a little area at the park. Hmm, I'm just thinking of ideas as they come through. But let's talk about this section here. Um, because yeah, you've got the tree and it is quite a big circle and I like the scale of the circle because um, and I like the scale of the circle in reference to the tree. I think everything is kind of nice. This is the main path. So you go across this bridge, you've seen the main reveal. There's a food court there. There's an old gingerbread house. Well, not an old gingerbread house, but a gingerbread house. And of course, um, yeah, as you can see on screen, we, we're relying on flowers quite a bit. Um, decided to use the the red and gold um, and I really used it here actually I really really fill out the red and gold here so we try and get a bit of a, a, a little section done first and then we try and we duplicate we don't we don't place down thousands of these on their own but you'll see it all as it progresses throughout the episode um, but yeah um, I guess as you so you've walked in You've come down the staircase, you've, you've had the reveal, and you're, you're basically getting to take your pictures around the Christmas tree, and you know, it's all kind of massive. Do you duck off to the right and go on to, to the uh, the wheel? By the way, the wheel's now called the Avalanche. We're gonna have a look at um, why it's called the Avalanche in the free play section of this video. Um, so yeah, we'll have a little bit of a look at all of that. Um, and we might even put a sign together for the avalanche as well. Um, but I thought, I thought, um, you know, look, it's probably a little bit grim to call in a Christmas place where it's all a bit, um, it's meant to be festive and celebratory. And uh, I've, I've, I've named it something after a deadly natural phenomenon, but I don't care. This is a very stitched up Christmas. So I'm kind of king of this world and I can put whatever I want in here. So uh, it's going to be called the Avalanche. Um, you can see the stones and, and the rocks that have all kind of tumbled. <laughs> it could be just a, a lovely avalanche that no one got injured in too. You know, it doesn't have to be the deadly avalanche. Um, but yes, back to Christmas. Remember as well when we do the um, the the the. the um, the cinematics, I guess. Yeah, that's the word, cinematics. That's exactly the word I was looking for. But when we do the cinematics, we're also going to be doing them uh, never in this light. This is 2 p.m. light. We're always looking at 5 and 6 p.m. light um, for this for this park. Maybe 4.30. I'll show you that. It always gets a nice sunset. 
and we're starting to pick out some colors for the lights that don't rely on green and red so we're trying to um you know there is a rock wall and the story of this this area where this park is built is is an old quarry um so there is a lovely rock wall with a, a quite a, a steep grade um, and we decided to keep that and put the snow in there and well the natural snow would have fallen on there and I choose to light that with like a uh, almost like a purple and it's like a pinky purple so that's kind of cool I, I like that um, so that all comes together nicely and again we'll do the cinematics now with the curve I had to kind of do I, I thought do I do the maths and work out what the curve is and how many meters and then therefore when I duplicate this curved fence do I bother with all that sort of stuff and no I didn't I, I thought this is where you can go a bit crazy with Planet Coaster sometimes it's better just to do things to the eye um, and um, I do find a way of putting these guys down and then I find a little slightly better way of, of um, uh, using the control X and then uh, just duplicating them that way um, but in bigger groups so that all kind of works out nicely and you can see um, I choose to use the same colored uh, flowers on the underside of the tree and it just gives it a little bit of a border um, and I, I kind of like that so yeah you can see here we've got a big sort of area there and what I'm using is the very edge of the fence I'm using one section of the fence just to line it up and overlap to, I guess the last pole on the edge um, just to line it up so on the new section it's the leftmost piece lines up with the old section the rightmost piece and, and it just lines up that way of course just working out where the uh, curve ends you can see how quick it is here we're doing I guess maybe four pieces yeah four pieces and probably 12 plants in that in that clump um, in each little section and then we're moving down to slightly smaller sections now as well so that all that all works out pretty good and I'm, I'm happy with how that has come together um, uh, again um, you know these things take a little bit of time and I'm, I'm showing you uh, most things in the in the playthroughs but of course we are definitely um, you know relying on the free play at the end to go through and have a look at the finished product because there are sections that I just tidy up in fact there is a whole section that I build at the end of this uh, episode in the entrance so we have the entrance area where you go through the Merry Christmas sign and you get the big reveal of the park and you're at the top area and you need to get down to the bottom we had that long path that wound down well I've replaced that with a uh, stepped staircase um, and we'll get to that just shortly in building this the step staircase um, and what I do is in this episode I show you the building of that and the architecture side of it and how we do some little landings little plateaus which we're going to decorate up at some point but then um, what I do is I put a waterfall underneath and I always talked about having that lake in that exact area sorry the river uh, and then cascading down to a waterfall and it turns out that this step staircase is basically a structure built over the top of this natural waterfall but anyway I put the waterfall in and I didn't record that I, I left that bit out because I thought you know what like firstly waterfalls can be a, a bit of a bitch to put together um, and um, yeah I sort of <laughs> I did all that off camera because it, it's just a you know firstly I hadn't had that much practice with waterfalls um, and working out which pieces to use it is trial by trial and error um, and there are some good tutorials on how to do waterfalls I think 8-Bit Josh does a good tutorial Rudy does it Rudy Renkable does an excellent tutorial so if you want to search on these amazing youtubers um, you'll 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 be able to get some tutorials on how to do that um, and I certainly watch those as well I'm trying not to do this quite even um, I'm trying to sort of um, get a couple of little abutments of uh, flowers in there so it naturally when we see a wider shot we can see that it naturally kind of I guess um, yeah it just looks like they're put down a bit naturally I guess what is what's happening is they're allowed to grow naturally is, is what the uh, the gardener has uh, gone for the imaginer has gone for I guess yeah and of course the bridge isn't done yet so this whole area where we get this part intersecting with the bridge um, this all changes and we'll get to that in just a sec because the bridge is is something completely different um, right so I'm just gonna see here because we have uh, yeah we have lots sort of lots sort of happening um, and 
let's talk about what else is going to be here so the big circle it's interesting because i'm kind of just just making it up as i go but i'm planning ahead the areas of the park and the very next thing there are two two things that i need to put in in episode four i need to get started and one of them is a um is a train station for the steam locomotive because it, i want this kind of christmas train to, to to go the polar express or something like that well we won't call it the polar express but um, I want this sort of Christmassy train and I, I definitely need to plan a station and I need to get the train kind of with some purpose of where it's going and what it's doing and I need to think about also if we've got different grades and different heights how does the train deal with those do we start the train off so he is up on stilts at this lower level and he's always you go up to it and therefore he never has to climb too much or does the train climb like it's climbing the mountains and the other thing is, I think I need to work out whether or not I want bigger mountains and some more heights. I think that could really help for things like mine trains and things like that. And even coasters that could come off, off that because you can use the natural height to create part of your, your height element for the ride. So I've been thinking about sort of what the rest of the park looks like and, and, and stuff. Here, um... By the way, I'm just building this bridge and I change everything. I mean, I've got these giant pylons, which are just way too big, but I end up just um, halving them. And um, I guess this this is meant to be a little bit kind of, it's a bit sort of fairy tale a little bit. Um, it's a little bit dark. It's got the red brick and the black brick. Um, almost a kind of, almost a lava kind of feel to it with these colors. Um, just counting the spaces in between because I couldn't do any basic maths. And you can see here we're halving them out so um yeah it's uh, i think i think the bridge is up coming up all right look it's one of those things that um uh it, it kind of looks a bit rubbish as i'm building it and then at the end i think i think oh yeah that looks good i think i've got there in the end once i put the planting so it's a bit of a um you know you can't see it now but this bridge ends up being i guess a um a real uh like a like a, a bit of a, a part of the garden so the bridge is a bit of structure a bit of how do they get across but it's also part of the garden and i guess people who come to this park are interested in the planting it's a bit like um the zoo back in in melbourne um as much as it's a brilliant zoo it's got some great exhibits great animals it's got some great gardens it's really cool um so yeah it's all kind of good um i i i guess it's a little reminder to subscribe to stitch up as well um yeah why not please subscribe to stitch up so um you know stitch up's going okay the subscribers are not huge but um we're getting there and they just go up and every few days they get another subscriber and it's just kind of nice but tell your friends if you like the content tell me what sort of content you like and uh, on stitch up we are trying to play more we're well, not trying to but we are playing more planet coaster with three projects on the go at the moment a very stitched up christmas we have um deep blue sea the ride um and i believe well uh, yes, well I, well, I can share this with you now, but, uh, you know, um, we lost the original ride um, and uh, we had to rebuild it all again, and I think it's way better the second time. So anyway, Deep Blue Sea, the ride, episode four is out uh, now, and it's a recap of everything, and we're going to, we're pretty much in that one, we're going to start building the, the lab next. So the lab will be in the next episode. It's time to move on from the main entrance area in that one. There's been enough happening there. Um, we start to put the ride vehicle in and we're going to get into the lab section in the next, in the very next one and then work out about connecting these guys and talking about the route of the ride in that one. Um, yeah, Dante's Peak, the ride, episode one is out. Episode two is in production and that is coming along. Again, it's another one that in the first one, first episode you look at and think how's he going to do this I, I i just can't see this and as i was building it i was thinking exactly the same thing but um it's it's really come along and in episode two i can't wait to show you uh how much it's come along and how it's a huge huge ride and it's a big undertaking but i think it's coming together quite good um these little potted plants so i've tried to use a, a few different ones um, but the same kind of color scheme for the other plants that are on the ground and around the tree, but kind of reversed. So the gold is the main color with the red being the accent. So that's, that's kind of there. I end up putting some parapets on the top of these guys, um, uh, on top of the bridge, the little bridge bits. And we, we sort of color code these in, um, using the same piece. I don't understand why it didn't automatically do that, but I guess maybe I'm not building in the, in the, 
I am I am building in within the bridge building here I'm trying to keep the bridge as a separate building uh, and that's so I can move it around um, and I'm just trying to do a different section here so if you can see there I've got sort of this section um, and then I'm trying to finish a little section and then duplicate it completely rather than you know doing duplication and then adding stuff on because then you need to really be careful about putting it back on the other side if you want symmetry you've got to be a little careful with that um, yeah so that's kind of that's how that all goes um, here it's you know we're using we're using the eye to to move it across and um, trying to copy certain things across uh, noticing some of the little pots are missing from underneath but we we fix that up and make that all kind of nice okay so we are moving on to uh, the next bit of the park and the last bit of the um, the the speed build in this part of the episode so we're deleting as you can see we're deleting lots um, uh, of the path and uh, the path had a nice sort of kind of few steps down here a little bit of a slow bit and you know a little bit of a kind of uh, a meandering path but it, I, I think the distance between the entrance to the entire park um, to the main the very first ride or those where those presents are I think that's quite a distance already so I decided to put a staircase in a step staircase and this ties in with the um, with the the future plans to put in and it's not that future because we build it <laughs> in fact we build it in this very episode but the, the the plans to put in um that kind of waterfall the stepped waterfall as well so we have a staircase and it steps down to these different plateaus and i tried to use a little bit of kind of bit of symmetry a little bit of maths here so we're building on the grid we're keeping a bit of distance but then we're trying to make sure all of these step downs are two uh we're using right angles but with, if you look at it from the top it's not symmetrical um, so where you get sort of you might get step downs of two but you might get three when it's a, a horizontal bit um, and in some cases like that part you just get a slightly bigger section um, but trying to work out exactly where the pools of water would be so that um, we then get uh, enough of a bit of a kind of um, so you, you get the effect of the waterfall but I like the idea that this whole thing sits over the waterfall and of course I get the idea here as well that I do a, a landing this is almost like the entrance plaza so I guess people would come down to grade and they want to take photos and I don't want them to do that on the staircase because people annoy me so I end up putting in this sort of area here and um, I'm also toying with the idea of possibly uh, putting some fencing around this entire staircase uh, and making the staircase um, to have planting all around it. Um, so I've just got to work out whether or not I want to do that. I don't know if that's a bridge too far um, <laughs> or a staircase too far, but um, yeah, we sort of do that. Now the softening here is going on as well. So a couple of things here so i'm 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 putting in the pools of water so i'm using uh flatten to uh terrain uh, sorry flatten to is a flatten to surface terrain there's flatten to surface and flatten to terrain and i think i'm using the flatten to the terrain where it goes all the way down um just trying to see exactly what that's i think it is flattened uh, i can't remember there's one of them but um yeah i'm using that one where it goes down to whatever the park uh, horizontal level is and then so that we do the pools we then soften out um, some of the slopes and you can see here I'm trying to get some slopes to be 90 degrees but some slopes to be really kind of 45 50 those sort of things uh, to really soften them out so it looks like you know there are rocks underneath in some parts but then snow heavy snow has fallen and then putting after I've softened it putting a layer of actual snow on there and another thing we started doing and in fact I'll show you a little bit later in the live play but we've started putting in uh, some ice so I'm using the ice so I use the snow painting both types of snow but then I start putting down some ice as well and it just kind of gives this real natural kind of feel to it so part of this waterfall it's in a very snow biome and I guess part of it is that water has come down the waterfall and at some part it's frozen a bit like the waterfall of Niagara Falls and you see it where it's completely frozen up so I like the idea of using ice there as well it's not a frozen waterfall it is a live waterfall we've got to remember this is a theme park and they would maintain it um, but it is completely live um, but then again it is out in the open and this is this is meant to be real snow that's fallen so this this park has been built in an area 
remember the the story behind this it, you know we talked about it being a, a disused kind of um uh what are we talking uh disused mine um quarry quarry is the word yes um but um uh, we're also talking about it being sort of uh, built in a you know a disused quarry but in a really snowy part so so this maybe a lot of the work is done over summer but in winter this this just falls and whatever terrain developments we've done in that period we end up sort of that's how we get it when the snow falls on it so trying to get that sort of that sort of look now if you have a look here at the top of the screen as well one thing i've got is we've got the area um on the left where you enter and it says merry christmas and you've got the trees and the reveal and you can see it's down into the park but in addition to that, um, you then have to get to this staircase. And I thought, well, it's just like a straight, it's a bit of a straight curve. Do I do more? You know, the more you, the more you kind of meander the path, the longer it takes them to get down to those first rides. So I had to be careful with that. And I come up with a different solution and we'll have a look at it in the live play. But basically it ends up being, um, yeah, it ends up being a nice another another nice little reveal going on here. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I don't show a lot of the waterfall creation in um, this. I I create this uh, off camera the waterfall. So the building of the rocks and stuff I'm putting in now, but the actual putting in of the water elements, um, those the the waterfall um, animatronics, I guess, or um, uh, sort of special effects. Um, those ones are actually, or practical effects, I think we could call those. Um, yeah, those ones are done off camera because, hey, waterfalls can be a freaking nightmare. I was also uh, just um, thought I'd mentioned that um, 8 Bit Josh does some tutorials on uh, well, lots of Planet Coaster tutorials. Um, so please check him out. His tutorials are absolutely fantastic. And he, I think he does something on waterfalls. I think Rudy Regamel's also done something on waterfalls as well. So it's really important to go and have a look at the waterfall stuff. Um, and, and, and it's a really good refresher if you're considering building one. Um, I certainly did before I built this one. Um, because it tells you just that, you know, these guys give you an idea of what exactly which element does what and how you should put them together according to the creators of the game and you don't have to but um yeah it's kind of cool i like the splash bit of the waterfall down the bottom as well that's my favorite uh, the splash bit is i think the most impressive so yeah um i uh what else oh uh, yeah the trees i guess the trees i'm still using primarily two types of trees um i do like sinking some of these rocks in so you can just see the top of them i think that's really cool yeah look at that that's real sort of natural um but yeah the trees we just got the two types of trees still um you can see some ice going in but the two types of trees and then occasionally we put in those th third and fourth variants of different different pines um and um and sort of dropping the trees down and making them kind of a lot of them are quite vertical um but they do give you know the trees are great because they <clears throat> they take us from a really sparse environment to a to a nicely built kind of one when we start to get some cinematics we want trees everywhere but not so densely everywhere that they're just spammed they're not they're never put down like that they're never spammed in this i never in in all of even creating at the top the very entrance to the park where there's probably 150 trees each one was placed with care and i went back and, and removed um, a lot of trees because uh, an edit and I'm always sort of coming back in and editing um, and I like the idea that these trees naturally grow here and might have been part of the uh, allowing this quarry to sort of come back to come back to natural growth maybe maybe not maybe though who knows <laughs> I'm gonna leave the uh, the commentary of this section here I'm going to let you just enjoy the next little bit and we will see you in the live play section where we'll take you through some of what we've built. So I'll see you in just a sec.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the speed part of the build for this episode. We certainly got quite a bit done. Let's have a look and we'll go through. We'll walk through from the Merry Christmas sign and we'll see. So yeah, as you come through, now of course when you look around here, you can actually see down to the park and we can see little bits here. A bit more landscaping to go on down here. But yeah, you can actually see, uh, oh, there's some falling water and a, uh, some some lights. I like how the uh, rocks here go onto the side of, the side of the path. Um, and I'm still happy with this path as well. Yes, but this is the next section, so I ended up doing a tunnel section through here and using a lot of the ice painting. So in here we've, let me just see if I can get the camera to actually work and not be, not be silly. Uh, what have I done here? Have I, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, so, so you see here like there's even drop-offs and I've managed to hide some lights down into some of these drop-offs as well. So that's kind of cool. I might put, put, put a few little signs here, uh, a few little teasers for the people, for the guests, and that'll be quite nice. And here is the very first um, point uh, where people get to see the park. And um, you can see there, let me just jump back on that camera angle and we can have a bit of a look around. But now you can see the waterfall in its in all its glory. Um, it's interesting though, uh, I'm not overly thrilled with how the, the, the supports look for the waterfall and I think I might rebuild on top of them because I think they just look a bit rubbish and they don't look like they would support this. Um, so I think I might put, uh, put some of my ones on them. I might even remove those or just build over the top of them. But there's the top lake and of course, um, you know, trying to get the water to come up <laughs> into that level where it falls off is not brilliant. But um, you know, it sort of all falls in. You can see some lights there. The water is falling and it falls down. It's not a huge waterfall, but I guess the idea is you walk, as you walk down this, you walk down the waterfall. And here's one of the observation decks. So we've got one here and you can get some pictures and you'll be able to see the avalanche over here, which is moving the Christmas tree. And you'll see the big wooden coaster behind it, which will be, you know, sort of about this sort of, this sort of height. And that's the wooden coaster I was talking about. There are two of these observation decks. One is here and as you go down, you get to see a little bit more of the waterfall you keep moving down this is where you really progress down over the top of the waterfall and as you do all that you come down here and you get down to this very next section and this is where people will get their photos and they'll be able to have a look and really start to um to, to have a look here and get down at ground level so this is kind of cool half over the water which is great for a lot of the you know just the way things look look how things look in the water where there it is just waiting for it to render look oh 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 <laughs> Things do look good and then they just don't render so well sometimes, but that looks amazing uh, But then all of a sudden it disappears uh, because the game thinks I don't need to show you that sort of shadow But have a look here and you can see it um I like here that the bridge uh, completely and utterly just, just disappears I, at this level. I think the bridge is a good sized structure. Uh, if we come across, yeah, you can kind of see into it and it is allowing us to see a bit more of the tree. But again, it's it, the bridge is all about, uh, here's the finished product by the way, with the roses on top. It's all about planting. This is a, a garden world. This whole world is a garden world and it's all about planting. So I, I, I kind of like that. I think that's come up good. Uh, I will do a few more little bits of tinkering. I think I might bring, I might end up putting the, um, uh, moving, moving some of the terrain around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's how the bridge looks there. And, um, I'm pretty happy with that at this stage. So please let me know what you think of that. Uh, we come across, um, uh, I've just, what have I done? Oh, by the way, I did move some of these lights in between episodes as we talked about and just thinned them out a little bit. And of course, there's that wall of that neutral color, that non Christmassy color that I like. This is a theme of the, of this, of this park is this, this mauve violet kind of color, this light purple, fluorescent purple kind of color. Uh, the drop tower doing its thing quite tall <laughs> and uh yeah and here we go down to this section which we created in this episode which is the which is the garden area and um you know we haven't put the um look at the lights sort of flashing there amazing what we haven't done is put floodlights on it yet um i think i will put some floodlights on it at some stage for when it is completely dark um these are test lights over here and um yeah so i'm kind of happy with how this all looks there's that star you can look at the size of the star and uh, uh, let me see if I can show you what it looked like on top. So let me just see if I can just put this here. Uh, yeah, look at it. It's just too big. 
it's too big so I don't mind there being no star at the moment um, we may put one at another stage but I'm going to keep this just here as a little bit of a uh, ornament and that's how that's going to go uh, we do have a room for a flat ride here so I'm wondering if maybe we should just pick the flat ride now and then uh, put that in I think that could be kind of cool so let's go to rides and let's see what would fit here and be a, be a sort of a nice kind of size. It's it's not overly... I think we need something with a little bit of height. Um, thrill rides? Do we want a thrill ride? Yeah, I think we do need something that's got a little bit of gumption about it because this one's quite gentle. So I think we can certainly have something that's, you know, that's quite good. What is this? Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, um... Don't want something too futuristic. That's got kind of a bit too space shuttle-y there, isn't it? What's this one here? Um, that's very science fiction. Um, what we have, we've got the drifters. I think something like this could be really nice. Just really kind of flat ride. Yeah, it's a bit sort of... And that one's a little bit too sort of soft as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I think what... what uh, ooh, what's this? I think these sort of rides are kind of good because they're, yeah, I think they could be good. So we put this one in because this is very sort of traditional kind of ride. Um, and we do want to have, yeah, I like the idea that <clears throat> it's right up against the wall as well. Let me just see, I want the back of it to not be, to not be a huge problem. Let me see there if I do, let's see where the entrance is going to be. So let's put this guy around here. We'll put all the pathing on this side on the left. I'm going to put him nice and close. Yeah, so we'll put the path here. Um, let's put this guy around here. Mm, yeah, about there where the where the uh, that guy is, sort of where the controller is. And I want to put the exit like this. And in fact, that's kind of not bad. But I think I'll do it a bit like this and make it come in there so it doesn't deform the edge of the path so that could be quite nice as well um yeah this could be quite good okay so let's just see so we do we want to put an entrance path on i think we do uh railing on ground queue railing on ground path Ooh, is he elevated actually railing is quite good because yeah, we do want railing, but um, I think I also want this to be grid, very grid, gridded. Um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, cool. So we'll try and get a little bit of, a little bit of kind of meandering going on here. Actually, what we could do is just come all the way up here across and then come all the way back and then we should be able to then, oop, now I think... I think, no, we're not going to be able to do that. So, right. So what we could do is just do that, turn the grid off and see if we can get a connector going in. That's a nice little right angle. Um, I don't think that's a long enough path though, but I suppose I can put some trees in there, can't I? Yeah. Can I do, okay, well, could we do this then? Could we do this? Let's do this. So go here. <clears throat> we now need to go back to the pathing tool and put in the queue and do the grid and come back. So if we do this, so we go in one, because what I don't want to do is then go like this. And can I force that? I can't. Because then I'd like to just turn the grid off and then do this bit like this. Uh, ooh. Okay, what about if we do this then? What about if we do this? What about if we go, um, let's go like this and move. And we want to move him to say there. Yeah, that's kind of good. I'm looking at how close he is to the path. Um, let's put in this bit here. And of course, these are cues. So we've got to be careful with this. But yeah, let's see if we can get the cue to be a little bit different. Um, actually, I need to delete all this. All right, I want a queue system, so we go like that. Uh, let me just delete all this. A bit manually deleting here. And watching that we don't have this episode really extended up as far as time goes, because we only have a few minutes to, to play around in this. So I might just put in this path, or the start of it, and then we can sort of see it in operation. So do we get to see this guy testing out? Shall we see him now? Let's run a test, and we'll see. As we're building it, we'll run a test and see how it goes. Uh, and we go into the queue, we select the grid. 
Um, so that could be kind of good. Don't know if I'm... Uh, yeah, that is. at least we've got some space here. This is kind of nice now. So I'm just going to see if I can put a bit of symmetry in here. Um, yes. Ooh, well, it's going to have to be there anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I think it's going to have to be that anyway. Uh, yeah, I suppose we could just do it like this, couldn't we? Yep. Okay, let's do this. And I think that could be good. Turn that one off and we'll go and see this. Just turn the snapping off there so we can put our own little angle in. So I think that's kind of cool. Let's go and have a look at the ride now. Yeah, I think this is good. I think that's the idea. You know, it's another kind of look. You walk down and it's another as you get a photo here. It's another ride. We'll color it up. We'll theme it up. It's got some of the colors that we actually it's got some of the colors we already like. It's got that purple. It's got the gold. I kind of think we might leave the colors exactly like that. Might adjust them slightly. But yeah, lots of these flat rides everywhere. This is very Winter Wonderland once we get a few more of those in. OK, this episode is long enough as it is. So please leave your, uh, a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stitch up and i'll see you in the very next episode of a very stitched up christmas cheers <laughs>